So this is as FB multiplied by the using triple pi d. Okay. So main connections are like this. Again, we draw to get new parts. Type pi. So take this pi pi d. Okay. Insert. Which is time one. Okay. So place for you correct. Okay. So in this, this will determine the frequency. That is, this R1, R2, and C. Okay. Output is taken as 3 here. And this is the um, charging and discharging of the capacitor will change the threshold. Okay. So when our threshold changes, then it will switch from I to L. Okay. The formula you know that it is in 0.69 times R2 into C will give the T of time. Okay. And total time period for your 0.69 times R1 plus R2 into C. Calculate those things. Okay. Then go to analyze setup. I do transient to keep 10 minutes. Okay. Yes. And go to analyze statement. Okay, so this is your output. So green color. Okay, this is your output. See it is changing. It is low, then high, almost equal to this is it. Change of state. Then low and okay the flip flop is changing its state okay whenever the so the threshold is determined by this charging and which is vr2 okay charging it is high whenever it is discharging it is at this period so this this will determine the thresholds okay so lower threshold higher you can calculate so you dp and dp points and so this is the response so we can generate the a stable multivibrator using triple pi so you see this calculate how much time period from here to here input markers okay this two this is not one marker here input one marker so see the difference okay so 3.19 milliseconds minus 1.1 almost 2 milliseconds okay. 2 milliseconds difference here will be this is the time at which it is here okay calculate compare this with the clear okay so this is about the a stable multivibrator using double Okay, so if you want, you can change the values. Okay. Change the values of R1, R2 and C. This, you can change, make these changes. Okay, so you can change these values. Make it one K. Save. Okay. Again. Okay. Okay. Okay.